Hello everyone, so a few days ago I received this product called Titanum 12 or T12. It's made in Australia by a very nice and enthusiastic team of people and it's really cool. So what is it? Uh, it's not a preamp or booster in a traditional sense. It's rather a module which provides phantom power to your guitar and it runs a constant drive to the pickups. It supplies 0.7 volt power rail and it's filtered with vintage Mylar capacitors, so the power is regulated to control any excessive harmonic feedback. According to manufacturer, uh, the voltage regulator is set in the so-called golden zone, which basically keeps the pickup clean, so if you had to switch to clean from dirty sound, there's not gonna be that slight distortion that classic preamps have as a fault. It's originally designed for 7, 8 to 9 string guitars, uh, which are down-tuned and pickups, pickups usually cannot deliver all these details in the low frequencies. So this thing is supposed to tighten the sound up and boost out the clarity of the pickups in these guitars in particular. Anyway, <laughs> enough with the boring technical stuff and let's see what you get in the box. Okay, so here's the box, very nice box that you get your Titanum 12 inside. And inside, obviously, there's a module. There's also nice little USB with both A and C connectors uh, in which you will find all manuals how to, you know, uh, very beautifully uh, done diagrams, how can you connect it, you know, without the switch, so it's always on, uh, with the push-pull, uh, with the mini-switch, uh, then what type of stereo jack you have to use in your guitar, that's also one thing that you will have to replace in your guitar, and this is how it looks, how this device looks actually, hope you can see it, you have your 9 volt battery connector, some wires, and there's also warranty card inside, and that's about it. Now a few more things about the device. So battery life is promised by manufacturer to last one year and three months, but they recommend to change it uh, approximately after one year. So we're talking about 9 volt alkaline batteries. Then it's also it's made from military grade material. It's like a Kevlar or something, so it has a 10-year warranty. Now, when we're talking about installation in any particular guitar, it's definitely not super small device, as you can see. So what I did, I installed it in the uh, pigguard root of this Stratocaster style guitar, as you can see in this picture. So definitely, yes, we had to do some rooting inside. So uh, bear in mind that for whichever guitar you want to install it, you need to have a place for this unit and for 9 volt batteries. Now, a lot of modern guitars that has a cavity controls behind the guitar can fit these both devices, but in stressed style guitar, it's not gonna work. So yeah, I definitely couldn't do it myself. So uh, I called my friend, good friend Luthier, who did it for me. And the whole process really lasted like maybe 20 minutes to, to expand this uh, pigguard cavity. And you know, to just wire everything is pretty easy. And you know, diagrams are great. It's super simple to wire everything up. Oh yeah. So you just don't get confused. I got two of them. So the one that I show you, it's obviously still not installed in any guitar. And the one that it's installed, I actually installed it with the mini switch. So I can, you know, better show you how the guitar sounds without and with Titan 12 engaged. Of course, you can install it, you know, so it's always on with a push-pull switch or whatever. So, as I've said, I wired the Titan 12 to this little mini switch. So when the mini switch is in position up, basically T12 is disengaged and guitar acts like normal, like it's not installed, everything is stuck. When I flick the switch in down position, we engage the T12. So I'm just gonna try to, I'm gonna play you a few, few lines, few stuff, you know, first with the uh, T12 disengaged 
and then uh, when it's engaged. So hopefully you can hear what's the difference. And I'm gonna really try to play the same both times and to maintain my right hand dynamic same. So it's more scientific results. Okay. T12 engaged. As you can see, it's obvious, uh, so there's a boost in volume, it's quite louder. There's also a subtle boost in gain, but in a very pleasing way, so it doesn't distort, it doesn't distort, actually. So we see, when we disengage, we have clean sound. When we engaged, we still have a clean sound, but with much more clarity, kind of presence or bite, or I'm not sure how to explain it, hopefully you can hear the difference. So. Maybe you can come up with your own conclusion. But yeah, and it's also, it's completely noiseless. So it doesn't matter if it's off or on, there's not gonna be any any noise, any broom, anything you will hear a little bit later on some more high gain sound. See, difference. So I, I guess the difference is pretty obvious. It's definitely, uh, there's a boost in clarity of the guitar sound. And this is what you get, you know, when engaging that switch. Disengaged. Engaged. And to be perfectly honest, uh, I installed uh, in the T12 in this guitar with this mini switch, first for purpose of the purpose of the demo, but also in case I don't like it, so I can just turn it off. Uh, I just found myself, you know, last five six days since I'm playing around with it that I just keep it all the time, you know, on engaged position. So yeah, I mean, it was definitely worth it, and yeah, the next one is definitely coming in one of my other guitars. Hopefully, many more to come. Now, many will probably think, well, I can probably just achieve the same results by just tweaking EQ pedal and making preset or EQ curve or something to behave just like that, etc. Uh, but, well, not quite, uh, because this device affects original pickup signal behavior straight from the guitar, so from the source. And actually, there's an attempt on Leon Todd's demo video of T12, where he's trying to match the EQ and gain response with some other tools, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video so you can judge it by yourself. I just feel there is just some subtle mojo when engaging this switch and it just makes guitar sound a little bit more pleasing. And it's basically like having two voices available straight out of your guitar. So it's pretty cool. And that would be my short presentation of Titanum 12, a phantom powered module for guitar. And I'm gonna leave the link in the description to their website so you can go check it out. And yeah, feel free to write down in the comment. Is that something you would want to have on your electric guitar? Is it something maybe you would uh, like to have uh, like to have in some another uh, other form, like in pedal, so you can hook up any guitar you want at any given time? 
or still something that you want to prefer to install in some of your favorite guitars to have that extra voicing with the flick of the switch. I personally don't mind a little bit of work with installation to have that extra little bit of mojo and that extra second voicing of guitar in guitar you know, available at any time with the flick of the switch. Thank you for watching and see you around.